And shifting focus to some other big story now, the three-member Judicial Inquiry Committee constituted to probe the May 26 twin song fiasco has submitted its report to the Nagaland government last night. Subsequent to the submission of the report, a closed-door meeting was held today, presided over by a Chief Minister Nephi Rio, which was attended by representatives of the Eastern Nagaland People's Organization, headed by its president, uh, Kekong Chim. Deputy Chief Minister Y. Patton, besides other legislators, were also present during the one-hour-long meeting. And talking exclusively to Northeast Live, Y. Patton informed that a cabinet meeting will be held soon after the report is being assessed. Meanwhile, the same was being conveyed to the ENPO members who have agreed to wait for the cabinet's decision. It may be mentioned that the ENPO had served a three-day ultimatum to the Chief Minister demanding to initiate action against the airing officials. It may be mentioned that a returnee was allowed to go to home from Kohima before the COVID test result was out. And however, things took a wrong turn when the individual tested positive for COVID-19 after returning home. And let's listen into what a Deputy Chief Minister Y. Patton had to say on the crucial meeting to discuss the Twin Sang fiasco after the submission of the Judicial Inquiry Committee report. Let's listen. Them and they'll, get, they'll go through that the report. Only after that will have a definite meeting. Okay. That's what we told our NGO. After uh, studying the report, we'll have a definite meeting. Okay, sir, when is the cabinet and meeting likely? Likely to no, that is not, uh, we have not yet finalized uh, that uh, our CM will uh, fix the date. So within few days, we'll, uh, we'll see, we'll see. Positive case also, not all of them are negative. 